It's a cat. Is it our cat? At last, the merry domicile is forgetted. Below weaponized rays, Wayne is accidentally deceiving a behavior outside delusions. Or it's far beyond mere oceans and concavities. Their massive mountain will not be prepared. And now the time for apparel beast draws to an end. Gibby, psychic, rocks delicately thanks to the massive lunar fortress. This delusion reveals the biscuit, near the corrosion, below the sustenance. He's not the nicest guy, is he, that moon man? Yeah. I think this sounds like a great idea. The world is our pearl. I like this. You know... The area where the Cone Cultists dominate, I forget the name of the mountain, is bigger than the city itself, isn't it? And that's what these towers are. They're airship ports. There. Now our entire party will be unstoppable. Actually, nah, he's fine. I think he's fine if he doesn't have one. His mightiness might go down somewhat, but I think it would be worth it. Especially since I already gave him those um, supplements to increase his mightiness. This is certainly somewhat better than the trash can lid. Oh, I may raise his mightiness though, but yeah, I'll go for this instead. He'll be a better cook now. And now, everybody has somewhat higher flesh points. Wait, some Snosa? Oh, he already had it, yeah. Now that we have formed the unstoppable unit of killing, we'll stop that moon man from weaponizing those rays. I suppose that that's what this has all been about, hasn't it? The rays. We've if they weaponize those rays, what are we going to do? We'll be in all kinds of trouble. Well, he's already weaponized the rays. But if he weaponizes the rays and then sells them to the major political powers around the globe, that's when the trouble starts because now everybody has the, the rays that have been weaponized. And now our team of four will take a bath together. Isn't it always the best to bond with your bathing friends by bathing with them? I don't know anyone who, with whom I'd be intimate enough to just sit around naked in a bath, though. Where to next, Daddy-o? There are many places in this world of ours that could be visited. Like, what's this? Um... Wait, that's where we got the airship to begin with. Never mind, I don't need to go back there. A mysterious castle. You selling ice cream? Hmm? 
Hmm. I like the sound of a spaceship key, so, um, mm hmm. Oh. That is rather pricey. But that's the surest way to get to the space, isn't it? Is in a spaceship. Oh. Cultists. I wonder what they're doing on the spaceship. It must be because the conic cult was began by the space king of Moon Man space. I think that is what's going on. The he was the cultist god all along. We've seen how he com you know carries himself. He's not the kind of man who you'd applaud, who you'd want to worship. Now is he? No, he's not. He's no Karl Marx. Oh. Hey, can we kill you? Color me intrigued. No, I still can't afford it. I'll buy a couple hot dogs. Now can you give me the spaceship key? Now nah, we're gonna need to pull off a big heist to get that much moolah. You guys happen to have money? Oh, it's a dead fish. Wait. Sunglasses and a guitar? Oh, hey, nose. Bungle, the sustenance. Bungle, your sustenance. Thanks to our art, out of her chemical. Bungle, that fine sustenance. Hit it. Wait, is that the- there's the king! Well, I guess it's okay. Yeah, enemies and friends are alike are united down here, aren't they? Oh, when it deceived your pace, I approached that haste day now. I guess he's singing or something. This is a number one jam, all right. Finally, the TV! Intestines spilling out, huh? Makes sense since it's a dissection. Yeah, that is definitely the king of the moon right there, friends. He's so debasin castigated. These must be various slang words for high or drunk or something. Well, not all of them. I 
never realized that Wayne was a musical man. I'm not surprised, he strikes me as the type who'd be in a band. So Nose is on vocals, Snelly's on theremin, and Poggle there is on a... keyboard? Synthesizer. Rock, rock on, peace out! What good is Dissect gonna do us, though? Oh. Well, didn't give us lots and lots of moolah. But it did something, I suppose. Veggies. Are you sure? Can I please just touch it for a second? What if our bodies obstruct his view? Well, whatever. You just keep sitting there in your weird house. So where could we get some money? What places haven't we visited? I guess we never visited this tower. Or this tower down here either, huh? Check it out. Let's check out the birdhouse. Hey, it looked kind of like that one place, you know, where we were that had the, uh... It had the strange statues that let us find Poggy. Psst, hey, I got horse food. Might be persuaded to paw with it for 3,000 bucks. Nah, man. Nah. I like a cheapskate. Can I just loot your house? I mind if I watch your television? You know, you'd think that if the, he wanted to sell us these, like... You know, you think a seedy back alley deal would go where somewhere where someone would be more likely to pass by? Yeah, I guess the toilet just has urine in it. What good does illusion do us anyway? Oh. Wait, what? Did that even do anything? Oh, there we go. So now we're, um... That slime man? We're that one monster from the other dimension? And one of those holograms. Nifty. It just goes to show that our external appearances are totally irrelevant. What happens if we land on this island? I didn't think anything would happen. What happens if we land on this island? I didn't think anything would happen. What happens if we land on this island? I didn't think anything would happen. Anyway, let's see what this big tower is. Certainly is a spectacular looking building, isn't it? So it is. Awe-inspiring in its way, it must be visible for kilometers around. Oh, so you guys live here, huh? Oh, if only I had a paper cup. What are you running away for? Oh, 
Oh, it's an art gallery. You must be the new foreman. Check in with Clawman before you head to the lab. Oh, okay, where's Clawman? Oh, I see, Clawman is in the room behind you. The lab is to the right. Are you Clawman? This guy? This guy's surely Clawman. Clawman! Nice to finally meet you. If you'll just give me the password, I can get you set up in the lab. Uh, did you forget or something? I'll give you another chance. What's the password? So... It's not that either. Stop joking around. This is your final chance. Skeleton blatantly? Who are you? Prepare to be destroyed. I was hoping it wouldn't have to be a fight to the death, but I see that it is. You drove me to this. I want you to keep that in mind, okay? Well, I guess we'll just break into the lab and steal all their stuff anyway. That's where all this normally ends up, am I right? I'm right. He's a heavy hitter, but there's four of us, and we're heavy hitters too. I don't think he'll last too long. That's my guess. I don't want to use Mystic... Mis not Mystic Leech. I don't want to use Mini Leech yet. Not the Mystic Meat. Because if I use Mini Leech, like, I want to wait until we're low on, you know, flesh before we do that. Also, Wayne is very low on flesh now. Ah, we lost Wayne. So what is the password, anyway? I mean, he's suffering a lot of damage, that guy is, but... Yeah, we're not doing so hot at all. This is a losing battle if ever I've seen one. Well, guess we're not gonna kill the Claw Man. Guess we'll have to do it some other time, huh? Not my preferred spawning point, but I'll take it. So, what are we gonna do about that, huh? I don't know, my idea right now is to try and sell this, uh, some of this roach food we bought. I'm not surprised that it isn't so useful. Oh, this is kind of useful. But what we need right now is money. How else are we going to get to the moon and get in the spaceship? I mean, we could just kill him, but they won't let us for some reason. Wait, I know where we can pull off a heist and get some money. I know exactly the place. Should be no problem for a band of experienced murderers like these four. Let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate their killing power in action. They, not a meal, are the ultimate weapons. 
They're snapping like Fitzgerald from Giant Robo the Animation, and it's enough to kill everyone. Soon all will be dead. All is a good guy too, so it's a shame that he'll be dead. Oh, Mustalita, huh? Well, I gotta say, I'm kinda sorry about killing you, because you're right, I drove you to it. But this is what you gotta do sometimes, to save the world from weaponized rays. Or something. I mean, it's a rather odd way for you to treat us. I mean, Wayne is your king. Oh, that's some powerful magic you just used, except your attack stat's too low, you're not mighty at all. Now, if you were mighty, we might have some trouble here, but we didn't, because you were mighty, you're a loser. Oh, that for 75 bucks? Nah, JK, it's just for, it's for more than that. Oh, it wasn't for much more. This was pretty much a waste of time and energy. Well, he'll come up from death in some parallel timeline. You know, he'll be fine. I suppose this is the realm from which these bugs originate, huh? Yeah, I guess so. So that heist wasn't all that profitable, I admit. Maybe I should go do some grinding first, huh? Yeah, I think I might actually. Spikeman is not a not a man to be reckoned with. He's a lot tougher tougher than Mario Mario's old foreman Spike. Much more professional though. Now we'll just wail away, whiling away their health thusly. Though maybe I should uh, be using Desi as the healer, like. He obviously is meant to be, so to speak. Okay, we're all kinds of screwed right now, if not for Mystic Meat. Mystic Meat will save us. It will be our salvation. See? See? Dark Flames, guys. You just gotta spam them. Wait, come to think of it, level grinding, hold on, is there even levels in this game? I just realized I'm not sure if there are. I never even thought about it until just now. Yeah, there are no levels. Wow, so how am I supposed to win that battle then?
Goodbye, claw man. Only trying to do your job. And now we have all the money we need. No wonder he's so rich. He was a CEO. Let's go through his desk. I agree. So what all are they building in the lab here? I should probably save, actually. That was a big victory we just had. A big one. As big as my afro. You must be new guy. Machines prepared. Feel free to give them a whirl. Okay. Uh, I'll never get tired of watching the machine do its thing. Must be a spectacular machine. You're a little bit underneath that bathtub, sir. I selected these specimens for their exceptionally high monetization potential. I see. Anyway, don't don't mind us. We're just gonna destroy the place. So those are your specimens, huh? Well, we killed one of them. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be pressed for cash much longer, guys. So, they take in specimens and kill them and turn them into money? What an odd operation they have here. Not that I'm complaining. Well, uh... We're still not quite at the amount of money that guy needed, I think. So that's unfortunate. Do they respawn when we leave the room? No, they don't. Still, though, we have a lot of money. In fact, how much did that key for the spaceship cost? I honestly don't remember. Oh, yeah, we can get that. No problem. <laughs> well, now we're about to go into space and save and take out those weaponized rays. Though it will be dangerous because weaponized rays are not the safest sort of thing. He is a fearsome foe, even if he had the audacity to show up at our very own club. Say, kitty cat of mine, do you have any encouraging words of encouragement? Thank you, my kitty. Thank you. I know why I like this instrumentation so much. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, Dropsy. Of course, this doesn't have nearly... Well, the anything that Dropsy did. Dropsy is... Astonishing. This is fine. Moon, huh? Guess so. Nothing but cemeteries. A vast necropolis of all of the king's victims, I bet you. Well, this isn't the most inviting place I've seen. Mm -hmm. 
Whoops. Hey, accidents happen to the best of us. What can I say? We found another axe, huh? I suppose the Pongorma isn't the jolliest of guys. He's pretty jolly, though. I mean, this guy is. Old, uh, Deadsy. He's really stuck with us through thick and thin, hasn't he? These guards are no match for us at this point. No. Oh. Well, this is a twist. I'm confused too, Wayne. No, oh, a toilet. That juice pack might save our lives. Yeah, you know what? These guards are not the toughest guards. Well, King, I killed everyone in your castle except one. Oh, wait, no, except two. Well, except three, because you're also in the castle. There we go. Well, your guards were big and intimidating, but they weren't so tough at all now, were they? There we go. Let's go. The bloodshed never seemed to end. It's really kind of horrifying. I mean, this is... I expected a big challenge. Instead... Oh, it's those plant guys. But even they have no power against us now. None of them do. The amount of death we leave in our wake is astonishing. Is it now? Eh, maybe it's time to turn this off. Yeah, I like this one better. I can't tell where one ends and the others begin. What, you're the king? You're not who I expected to find here at all. But you were also at our dance club, weren't you? So you're the man who weaponized the rays, huh? Gibby. I didn't realize that his statues were important, too. Well? Hmm. I suggest you guard. This could easily... This could go south very fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack the vital statue because it is, after all, vital. Yeah, the vital statue is, um, restores health, I see. I know that many have faced you, Gibby. And whoa, Gibby! Don't do that to me, Gibby. G no, Gibby! This is intense, guys.
bandits out. Strange that the statue didn't collapse there, I mean, it's still there. Still, it won't be healing old Gibby too much anymore. Wait a minute, though, did that... Does Gibby have over 500 HP I just saw? Why, I think I did. He's one tough cookie. Pretty mellow music for such a horrifying fight, though, now, isn't it? What is he, an orange? This is just an onslaught. <sighs> and so it was. Yeah, I don't even care about that animation anymore. At least we have some more flesh now. I suppose that there is a kind of level grinding, because the more meat you have, the more flesh you have. I must focus on this. This is... Well, then again, maybe... No, no, I, I have to focus. By the end of this turn, we will probably need that health chant. Now is the time that... Partial Destruct is most effective, after all. I better use it. Look at those space shurikens shuriken! The, it might be healing itself, but the goal is to, you know, hurt it more than it's healing itself. Which, in the long run, we're going to succeed in. Oh no, we're all confused. Well, except Pongi. Thank goodness for Mystic Meat. The meat absorbs the damage that would otherwise be issued forth from the attacks.
he didn't begin doing this until very late in that last time we confronted him. This is bad. Does he somehow remember how far we got last time? It's very plausible, unless we are warping into a parallel universe every time we come back to life. You know, it's I'd say it's very possible. Detonation is some good magic, what can I say? If it weren't for these status ailments, this would not be nearly as challenging. Now here we go. Oh, we killed the statue. So next we need to take out the Eerie statue because it has so many powerful attacks. It's as if Gibby's attacks weren't already powerful enough of, you know, on their of, on their own. It's no wonder so many warriors died facing him. Because he can attack multiple times per turn, something no one else can. We have to have Mystic meet up to protect ourselves from those status ailments. But that's fine, because even if Wayne and Dudzi aren't attacking, Nose and Pangorma are powerful attackers. Now he can't use partial detonation, can he? The answer, by the way, is no. And now that the Eerie stat- actually, now that the healing statue is gone, they're not going to be protecting themselves from status ailments any longer. Um, actually, here's an idea. Oh, yeah, let's use this one. We might as well go all out now. Next time, I think I'm going to try tossing dynamite at Siggy. Or not Siggy, that's not his name. Gibby. What is Gibby, anyway? You know, my concern is that maybe we're no better than Gibby. You know, he might have murdered so many people, but haven't our heroes, too? Why are they going after Gibby and his weaponized rays, anyway? Maybe we stumbled into a saga about which you and I know nothing. I don't want to accidentally select Guard again. We can get through this, we just need to be careful. If we're careful, if we're cautious, if we're mindful, I think we can. Gibby or the Eerie, sta eerie Statue? Yeah, it doesn't have much HP left. As for Gibby, though, I don't know how much he has left. It's hard to be sure. Maybe I should have had Pongorma hit him, hit him with a partial destruct, but my concern was that if I did, and his HP got too low, he would begin using some very powerful attacks. He strikes me as the type. He attacks stronger as he loses health, not because he gets stronger as he gets weaker. That wouldn't make sense. No. It's because... It's because, rather, once he is low on health, he becomes more desperate. And when he's more desperate, he's, you know, he's, he's going, he's not going to hold anything back. On the subject of which, dynamite. In fact, maybe this time we'll use the partial destruct on Gibby. Let's see how much Gibby has left. Oh, he has a lot left, actually. Wow, I'm surprised that dynamite didn't hurt him more. Most people don't take dynamite to the face quite so well, you know? 
Still, even on his own, Gibby is nothing to be scoffed at, summoning all these cosmic processions. You know, at the beginning I thought Dudsey was just some expendable archaeologist, but I see now that without him, our entire mission would have all been for naught. Actually, no, you should cast Mystic Meat while Wayne casts Health Chant. So he still has, like, what, 1,500 HP left? Or I suppose Gibby has something more like 1,200 or something at this point, but... And we do take HP away in, you know, by the hundreds. I don't need to worry about um, Dubsy getting somehow, you know, falling. I don't need to worry about him um, being afflicted with a status ailment that prevents him from healing everyone now. Because, as you just saw, he is, uh, he's doing pretty well, you know, you know we, we, we all have our shields up. And he is doing pretty well. Look how much, look how strong he is right now. A shield against status ailments, such high will and flesh. I think that this might be Gibby's last day. Unless he has some dramatic finishing move, but... Well, who even knows at this point? But after this, we'll go back to the club, and we'll go back to the club and we'll all just have a, have a grand old time playing our rock music. And that fellow who was killing everyone in those in act intermissions was apparently... To my surprise, he was actually the, uh, narrator. Not what I expected, I have to say. All along, we didn't even see Gibby until the end. And you know, his weaponized rays, they're pretty good, I guess. But not the best I've seen. Let's see how much HP Gibby has left now. It's all you, Pongi. Oh, he only is down to like 300. Er, well yeah, 300 now, after that attack. I might be overusing a health chant, but hey, whatever works. been saving these juice packs for a day like today. Gibby, you might have thought we were fools to approach you, and you are a mighty warrior, but the truth is, you were the fool to approach us. Oh, we do have EXP, at least today. Oh, we'll wash it all down with a sausage. Wait, this is the sun and Wayne is the moon. Oh. All things come to an end. But, Wayne escaped, didn't he?
But Wayne, liquid, accidentally adrift, levitates the dirt despite the corporeal corrosion nerve. Thanks to the glands, a furnace deceives partially, and will our passion render above vents? So ends the tale of the forbidden lards, who sought to rescue for a sort of horribly desired our juicy skeleton. That's why he didn't want us pulling the lever, huh? And so let us journey home for one more big buddy, all four guys together bath. Mintheli, Mintheleleon. Well said. We four are the mightiest warriors in the galaxy. Yeah, it would be a good idea, I agree. And so it's done. Well, everybody, that's Hylix, and I'm Mackerel Phones. I've pretty much said all my thoughts on Hylix already. So, I'm not gonna say any more right now, man. See you around, everybody. Expand your mind sometimes.